Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 16th, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, of course, CVE 2020-1350 or SIG Red, the Microsoft DNS server vulnerability is still at the top of the news, even though there isn't really a lot of new information out about this vulnerability. At this point, we have not seen any public exploits. However, on Twitter in particular, there have been quite a few fake, even though harmless exploits that people advertised. Now, one question that often comes up is if a request by itself can exploit this vulnerability. And that's a clear no. The exploit has to be delivered via a response. However, it does not actually have to come from a DNS server. There's a Pretty interesting sort of version of this exploit that uh, Checkpoint has demonstrated, where they actually use JavaScript running inside a web browser to essentially emulate a DNS server and delivering the correct, meaning the exploit response to a DNS server. So this vulnerability should still be at the top of your patching and remediation list. Uh, definitely make sure you get this patched by this weekend. At the very least, uh, get the workaround implemented, but uh, may as well just uh, patch it and get it over with. We also had a special webcast today by George Orkilis uh, to go over some of the details of uh, this vulnerability and I'll link to a recording in the show notes. But well, one of the other vulnerabilities I pointed out yesterday was a remote code execution vulnerability in Outlook. Sadly, it looks like the Outlook patch from Tuesday is going bad on some users. There are numerous reports of Outlook crashing after applying the patch. And at this point, it looks the only workaround if this is happening to you is to remove this faulty patch. So only if you have the problem, only if Outlook is crashing, Take a look at the Reddit post I'll be linking to, and it explains how to undo this particular patch. And just so it doesn't get lost among Microsoft's patch Tuesday, we also had Oracle's critical patch update. Now this is a quarterly update, 443 patches are being delivered here from Oracle. Now two of the vulnerabilities do have a base CVSS score of 10. Both of these vulnerabilities are in Oracle's SD-WAN product, which is part of the Oracle communications applications. Now, it gets a little bit more interesting if you're including the CVSS score of 9.8, which is still very critical. And we end up with over 60 different vulnerabilities with a CVSS score of 9.8. Too many to really cover them all, but if you're running any Oracle product, please pay attention and double check the patches after you're done with your Microsoft DNS servers. And I'm always paying special attention to Oracle's web logic and there are eight 9.8 vulnerabilities in this product and that has a rich history of exploitation in the past. But well, we're not done with patches yet. Uh, sorry, Cisco released a large list. I haven't actually been able to count them all patches today. And now what stuck sort of out are four critical patches that fix backdoors in Cisco's RV router products, RV 110, uh, 130, 215. These are uh, typically small business uh, routers and the vulnerabilities being addressed here are your classic backdoors like static default credentials, command execution vulnerabilities, and authentication bypass issues. And if none of these products affect you because you're running neither Cisco, Oracle, nor Microsoft products, then you may have some time to look at some good old malware. And Brad has another analysis for you of 
Iced ID or Bokbot. And as usual, he has all the PCAPs and all the artifacts to allow you to practice malware reverse analysis as well as network forensics. That's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.